Good, mo good morning, portal parents. One of the things that we'd like to do to help you help out your kids in math is we'd like to demonstrate how we do multiplication and division problems. So this is a multiplication problem that I'm going to demonstrate how we've been doing in class. The first thing to remember is that we're always going to start by multiplying and breaking down, keeping one of our numbers and breaking down the other one into 10, 5, 2, and 1. And I'll explain what that looks like in just a minute. For the first part, what we do is we choose which number we're going to change. I'm going to keep my first number the same since it's a little bit bigger and I don't want to have to break that one down. I'm going to break this one down into numbers that would be easier to multiply in my head. For example, 46 times 10 is much easier to multiply in my head. So I multiply that out, 460. Then I know that I've used up only 10 of this, meaning I have 18 left. So I take care of another 10 which is also 460. And if you look now, I've got essentially 46 times 20 once I add these two together. Now because I can tell that I don't have enough for another 10, if I do another 10, then that'll be 46 times 30, which is too high. So I'll do 46 times 5, which gives me 230. If I reduce this number by half, then I reduce this number by half as well. Now I know that I don't have another 5 because, again, that would leave me at 30. So I'm going to go down to attempt 2. Okay? So I do 46 times 2 is 92. And if I look here, I've now multiplied 46 times 10, 20, 25, 27. Now I just need to multiply these together. If I look at this column right here, that should all add up to 28. 10, 20, 25, 27, 28. Now all I need to do is add up this line. I probably should have done a better job of lining this up. Eight. 1,288 is my answer. And that's how we multiply in fifth grade.